I'm awake at four something. It's actually it might be five by now. And so I decided to make some coffee using my electric little kettle because it is, it's not freezing. It's in the thirties though. It's cool. One thing that I, I really did not plan on it being super cold on this trip. I wasn't thinking that it was going to be snowing. I just wasn't thinking it was going to be snowing. I mean, I acknowledge that there's snow in places in April and I thought about that, but I thought I would be able to avoid it. I wasn't actually thinking about the drive to, I was thinking about the drive back. No problem. I have my nice coffee to drink. It'll keep me nice and warm this morning. And in a little bit, I'll go to the bathroom stuff. The, the, actually, the main issue is that the sunrise is like going to be at 610. I wish I could take pictures in the painted desert at that time, but it is closed. And I couldn't figure, I mean, I'm sure there's other places to go to see the painted desert that aren't part of the park, but I couldn't, I, it's not obvious to me where they are. And I'm not going to drive down roads I don't know, especially dirt roads in the dark. Like I'm not that at that point. That's just not a good idea. So um, I won't be getting there till 8 a.m., which is two hours after sunrise, which is not optimal for what I would like. And also I'm really just going to be literally sitting around here <laughs> waiting. Um, it's about an hour away, so I'll leave at seven, but, or maybe a little before seven if I'm going to get gas off to leave. <sighs> but besides that, nice night in a rest stop, and then I'll be moving on to the Painted Desert and Petrified Forest National Park. Okay, so I just found a use case for <laughs> the window in my ceiling. So I never really used that when I was in the Honda Civic and it actually is a way that makes it really cold and hot. I do plan that when I'm getting the windows done, uh, tinted that I'm going to see about tinting that too, because it's a, with, it's with the ceramic to really cut down on heat. Anyway, you can see that there's light. All right. So all my window coverings are still up. I still want privacy in here and everything and warmth, but I was like, oh, if I want it to be more light, I can open up the things so I can get light from the top because it's not like it means anyone can see me that I'm in here. It's it, this, this little shade does provide a tiny bit of insulation. Not really that much though. So, um, yeah, it's actually nice to have a little bit of extra light when I'm in here hanging out. So plan was to go to the Painted Desert side first, thinking that that would be better because I'd have a morning light and because the pullouts are on the right side if you're going from that way, so it'd be easier. However, there's low fog, like, and it looks like it's over there. I mean, I drove through it and it looks like it's over there. So I think I might not be able to see anything. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go to the south end and start out with the petrified forest part. And that's fine. Now I'm actually gonna get there 15 minutes before they open, but I, this is like not busy. And this is, this is a highway, not an interstate. So I can like, I mean, there might be people lined up there. I don't know. I haven't, it's so weird. The idea of going to a national park that's not open that time. But you know what? I had a realization. I think the reason they're not open all the time is because people were stealing petrified wood. That's my guess that people were stealing petrified wood, so they had to, they actually have to have a gate and close things. Uh, I don't know if that's true, but I think that's a good hypothesis. So I decided to pull out at a pull out just so I could not arrive there so early because I don't know if there's a good place to like exist there. So anyway, I'm however across the way it has a sign that's like, no, 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 no. So hopefully I won't get shot here. Anyway, I think I'm going to actually get out and take some real pictures. It actually is really cold. It's like 36 degrees. I mean, obviously there are places on earth where it's more cold. Sometimes I get people who are like, that's not cold. It's actually not that cold at all because it's not windy. So yeah, you can see cows. Yeah, I really like places like this where you're just nothing, no people, just space and go away signs across the street. <laughs>
So it's like in the high 30s, which you might think is really cold, but there's absolutely no wind. So since the sun is beating down on you and it's so dry, 30 degrees is actually really nice to walk and hike in. So I came here when I was in the 80s. It actually is so much, I remember it. Like it, it isn't feel different or anything, even though obviously they've changed things. They're even improving this walk to make it so people aren't venturing off path and destroying things. But yeah, it's nice. And I remember the red, super like colored rock trees, petrified forest trees. So yeah, it's, it is nice. Man, this would be oppressive if it was hot. It's just bad lands and sun. Oh my goodness. This is not a place to come in the summer. This is a lovely time to come here, but not summer. I had to touch this wood because it really, it, it really looks like wood, but it's wrong. So yeah, you can see all the layers, river, basin, the white is volcanic eruption. It's so neat how you can see that. So it's almost one o'clock. Once it got to about noon, it was starting to get annoying with tourists and busyness and such. They, it's a very different energy who comes to a national park at eight or nine o'clock in the morning than who's there at noon, okay? I don't really have anywhere else to go. So I, I only ha I'm, at a plan I'm planning to stay at a rest stop that's about an hour from here. And I don't wanna keep going because New Mexico, which is the next state from here, because I'm at the edge of Arizona, a lack of rest stops for a long ways in New Mexico. Now there might be other places to stay, but there's also not very many towns, you know? And it's a, a cold, like as in snowing. By the way, by my land, they're still plowing. So I don't know if seeing the land is going to work out tomorrow because <laughs> they don't plow the dirt road, you know, and don't be wrong. I understand that my vehicle can go on dirt roads and snow and all the things, but I don't really have a good vibe for what my vehicle is capable of doing. And I don't have experience driving on a dirt road that has snow on it. And I've never been on that road before at all, but I'm right next to the interstate. I have all the bars of 5G and I was like, I need to work either tonight or tomorrow morning. I need to answer all my emails, do all the things. Why don't I just do it right here? Why don't I just stop in this pullout? The weather is beautiful. And we have a, the amazing internet. Because at the rest stop, I might not. Last rest stop, I wouldn't have been able to work. It was enough for me to text and have a phone call. Barely. But that's it. So I'm like, hey, I'll just stop here and work. And if I spend an hour or two or whatever I spend, and then a lot of the tourists will have left. This bird is kind of stalking me. I, I, I don't know why. Birds kind of scare me. 
So I went over to the visitor center. It, visitor center um, is having a water shortage, so the main visitor center is closed. So anyway, <laughs> I had to use a porta potty instead of a real toilet. But that, which is fine, but it was just kind of like, oh, why did I go here? Weirdly, the visitor center at this park is outside of the park gate for some reason. So you have to, to get to the visitor center, you had to, I had to exit and then come back in. And I'm like, that's, a, I've never seen that before. But I, mean, I guess maybe, but the visitor center has lo smaller hours, less hours than the park does. So why would they do that? And as I said, while the gate closes at five and the buildings all close at five, the park itself is open till 630. That is though a point that the buildings are going to be closed at five. So the bathrooms will be, except at the visitor center, uh, it's porta potty. So I guess they'll be open, but so it is 1452. So three o'clock and this is Arizona time. So I have hours that I could spend here um, and just chill. It is. Speaking of chill, it is so windy now. <laughs> so there's that too. Now this is obviously not the most windy place I've ever been. It's super sunny. So the wind isn't that cold really. Um, I probably will put on a jacket in a, in a sec, but yeah, it really is lovely. And people are, and as I thought, people are kind of leaving now because they need to be somewhere else, you know, for tonight. And there's no camping here. So, yeah, so it, it did clear out. And right the second, I'm the only one here. I am really glad about this whole stopping in the middle of the day. But that was something that I actually used to do with my son. When my son was little and we would go somewhere. Like, let's say we went to Disney, right? We went to Disneyland. We would actually take a, what is wrong with you, Dor? Um, we would actually take a break in the middle of the day, go back to the room, have, you know, a, get, have a nap, rest and then go back to the park again and if you're someone where crowds are a trouble for you and or and also if you have little kids who need a nap whatever this can be a great idea we'd also like we're staying at a, at a hotel that had like a water thing there like a had some water slides and all this stuff and so they'd play with the water you know it was great it was great that was a great trip my, my son was too young to actually remember it <laughs> but but it was a it, I, we went twice when we went to disneyland and i'm so glad we did that it was it was so great I'm sure it's somewhere deep in their brain they remember that yeah so I'm, i feel very i feel a lot better i feel it actually lowered my stress so i feel like oh whenever i have my next work you know thing tonight or tomorrow morning or tomorrow during the day whatever it is I still have stuff to do. I'll have another round of emails that come through. And then I have, I haven't answered comments on my YouTube channel. I might do that tonight if I have good internet. And I need to, I have three client things to do. None of which are going to be exceptionally hard or anything, but they are like one email that I, is really long that I need to think about and reply to. One office action that came in for a trademark that actually I have to like figure out how to explain to the client and <laughs> figure out what the plan what we're going to do. And then the third thing is a filing I need to do to assign a trademark for a client. That's super easy. So none of these things are big deals, but uh, I wanted to do them after I've rested and done other things. Time I want to come back and backpack and hike in the wilderness area. No trails. Yeah, that seems cool. Is this the same bird?
this is a very lovely place for a rest stop. I will say that. Come on, stop being ridiculous, car. So this rest stop, you actually have to get off at an exit. And there wasn't a sign on the highway that there was rest stop here. I only knew because I looked it up ahead of time. Like, oh, world. So, but I did, so I knew where it was. <laughs> but just like. And this is actually a really nice rest stop. I mean, as far as they go, you know? Now, you could park way over there where the guy's probably parking. That's like the picnic area and there's tons of parking over there. But I kind of wanted to be closer to the main stuff. I'm in the last spot of the car parking and, and I'm under a light. And you know how I like that. This is the last rest stop in Arizona. We're almost in New Mexico. If I throw a rock there, it's very, very close to New Mexico. New Mexico is where I'm going to go going tomorrow. And that's where my land is. I may or may not be able to see my land, but at least I'm going to go to where it is, kind of. I need to get some client work done. I was going to work on it tonight, but I'm actually... Oh, there's a light. Yay. I was going to work on it tonight, but I'm actually tired. <laughs> I got a lot of sun today. Um, and yeah, I'm kind of tired. I didn't look while I was over there. I need to, I have a whole bunch of garbage I want to throw out. So I'm going to try to throw that out before I go to bed. Or I brush my teeth and floss and all the things like that. But yeah, I really, I got a lot of sun today. I wore a hat the whole time. How did I get sun? I don't know. Because it bounced off the rocks. I don't know. I got to have a phone conversation, a, a FaceTime with my son when I was actually at the park. And so it was nice. I was just sitting in my car and uh, this beautiful view and chatting with my son so very lovely very lovely I, oh my god I'm tired uh, it's just all the sun and I don't know maybe I'm not actually sunburned maybe this is a wind burn it was very windy for part of it so maybe it's wind all right I'm gonna relax and chill out I don't we'll see how tomorrow goes good night